Hey, this is Sexy African Cichlids. We're looking at observations of an overcrowded African Cichlid Peacock Aquarium. It's massively overcrowded, but it's not one that you're going to go, Oh no! It's too overcrowded. No, this one's looking good. Now there'll be some setbacks in this video. Some things I'm going to go over that's very important to you if you have one going on because Maintenance is important, and we're going to only look at that for this, this aquarium. Alright, now I want to kind of show you real quickly some things in this aquarium that you may have not noticed. On your right, there's two uh, cichlids there that's got some yellow in them, and they're the sunset peacocks. Uh, that coloration was not coming out in the 75 gallon. Also, in the center of your aquarium there, is a fish that was brought about in a naming video uh, and I'd like to see if anybody can figure out the name of that fish there. Now there's another uh, fish and we'll get a little bit of a pan around here. That one right there in the center of your screen in the back of the aquarium. And if you could tell me the name of that fish that would be really cool in the comments to see how many people really know of some of these names of these fish that were featured in previous videos in different aquariums and how they look now. Tell me how you think they look now compared to those videos. Uh, that one in the center of the screen. The sunset fish over here. Uh, and then the one up here at the, in the middle of the screen there. And tell me how you think they look compared to the previous videos and the videos of this and the observations of an overcrowded peacock cichlid aquarium. Alright, we're going to start off this uh, video with a little run down on the aquarium. It's a 125 gallon aquarium. Over here on the left hand side, I've got the mountain filtration going. I have the heater up front so I can read the temperature gauge. It's easier for me to make sure the temperature is doing great. Let's do a slow pan of the aquarium. Now I have just done a water change in this aquarium. And I'll be pointing some things out about that throughout this video. Because and an aquarium that is overcrowded, that has lots of fish, now there can be some issues when you're doing the maintenance. Uh, I want to definitely point that out. Now look over here, they're all kind of shoaling over here. Uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, they're all, you know, looking good. Now, they've only been in this aquarium for a couple of weeks. Their growth rate is already taken off. Their coloration is already taken off. But there are some things you need to know when you set up an aquarium like this uh, about maintenance. Uh, the you know, most common thing when you think of maintenance is water changes. And for an aquarium this size, with this many fish, What do you think could be an issue? Well, the number one issue I've run into here that I've observed so far in this overcrowded aquarium is you cannot do a real large water change for an overcrowded aquarium. One being when the water level gets down low down here, like above that bottom rock there, the peacocks can be really crowded and there's going to be less oxygen and they're going to be stressing and they're going to put more toxins in your aquarium. And when you take out that much water, even if you have a very fast pump or doing uh, a siphon, it can take quite a while to get out a massive water change 
from this aquarium. So if you're taking 75% out of, a, of an aquarium, uh, you know, what you do normally, uh, I always suggest not to do that. What I ran into here was uh, basically it stressed the fish because it took too much water out and it was not done quickly enough to have ample oxygen in the water. If you're waiting for all the water to come out, your filter's not going, and you need to want either either uh, put some oxygen in your water through an air pump, which would be pretty smart, or be very fast about your water change. So I recommend only taking out uh, maybe a third at the most of your water, maybe a fourth. The reason I say I only take out a smaller amount of water than some of y'all normally do is because see this fish down here, this dragon blood, it's still stressed over the water chains. Some of these guys are still breathing hard. It was just a very stressful event for them. Uh, and it's long term, you know, your fish might get used to that. Uh, but it's really not good to stress your fish out. You can actually lose some of your prized fish due to water changes. In an overcrowded aquarium, the stress can multiply by the overcrowding of your fish. So oxygen is key. So basically, you need to hurry up, get the water back in the aquarium, and get those, those filters running. Now on this aquarium, I haven't used uh, air, air pumps in here, but I do have a circulator. And I have two pumps over here to the left to bring it in the opposite direction from the mat and filtration. And that gives plenty of oxygen. But if they're already stressed, it's going to take a long time for them to calm down. So aeration would be fine if you did that with the water change while you're filling back up your aquarium uh, because it can take quite a while to fill up that much water. So the best thing to do is just not do it that way. Take out at the most a third to a fourth of your water. Get the water back in there as quickly as possible and your fish will be less stressed. Now you may have to do more water exchanges but in the end, it will be very beneficial to do it that way. So that's the observation of this uh, overcrowded peacock aquarium so far. But also, uh, like I say, they've really grown. And their coloration is really coming out. Look at that OB peacock right there. Some of the fish that normally did not have their colors coming out, now they've got more room. Uh, are doing great. Can you believe every fish in here was in a 75 gallon aquarium and actually doing great. Now they're in here, some of them are getting more coloration, looking good, growing faster, just really a good, good setup, a good move for me to move them from a 75 gallon into this bigger aquarium. So I want to make sure you know if you have an you know, overcrowded peacock aquarium, be very thankful how you do your water changes. You may have to do more of them, but you're going to have to take out less water unless you're real careful about the oxygen level in your aquarium. It really will stress them. Uh, stay tuned for future videos on the observations of the African Sickle Peacock Aquarium because I'm going to cover many things like this one here. This Base, you know, this video right here is showing the fish, but they're still stressed out. They're not even showing their full potential because uh, they're not calm. And there's still some debris running around in the aquarium because of the recent water change. So let's see how the filtration holds up. The Madden filtration holds up. How the growth rate holds up. How the coloration holds up. 
if the breeding still continues, how things go. So I think you'll be interested in watching this. The observations of an overcrowded African cichlid peacock aquarium is going to be, a, you know, an astounding video series. And I think you'll really enjoy it. So stay tuned for the next few days of part two. Thanks again for watching.